We are leaving the port of Savona and we'll sail along the Ligurian coastline as far as Alassio. We'll visit the island of Bergeggi, then the port of Finale Ligure, Loano, and then finally the port of Alassio. Immediately out of the port area, we can see the marvellous coast of Albisola, a town famous for its ceramics production. Especially famous is the white-blue pottery, the so-called antique Savona, and is still very important today for its notable production. Valerio Palufo, the historian, explains to us how Savona became a great marine republic, how it succeeded in trading with various countries on the Mediterranean rim, guaranteeing itself wealth and power. Going further back in time, we discover that the Etruscans already traded with Savona and Genoa. Parlando di Savona e parlando di questa zona, e parlando dal punto di vista, diciamo, più antico, più arcaico, gli Etruschi commerciavano The Etruscan population was organized into tribes before the arrival of the Romans, and they already possessed the spirits of sailors and traders. It is sufficient to consider that they had set up exchanges with the Greek colonies in Marseille, France. It was therefore a commercial activity with a wide range of openings. Ecco, il commercio avveniva non solo con gli Etruschi, ma anche ad esempio con i coloni greci di Marsiglia, quindi ha aperto su più the contrast between Savona and Genoa has always existed, as we can easily see. This contrast, however, grew stronger when the Savonese looked after and sheltered the Carthaginians, who had battled against Genoa. Genova se la lega al dito, naturalmente. In 1528, this deep-seated rivalry incited the Genoese to organize an expedition against Savona. The port was filled with sand, the city walls got torn down, thereby putting an end to Savona's naval and trading power. If we consider that over a period of just a century, the population fell from 18,000 to just 6,000, we can realize just how important the port was. From a naval power, Savona turned into an agricultural town. Qua dietro la, il golfo diciamo, di Savona, no? e qua la fortezza. La fortezza del In the background we can see the Gulf of Savona and the Priamar fortress, a painful reminder in the history of the town. In fact, the town was founded on that particular rock, and the most ancient and wealthiest part of the town's history, including the cathedral, were all located. Tra il 1542 e il 43 venne costruita questa fortezza contro i Savoia e i possibili attacchi dei turchi, quindi purtroppo la parte più bella del centro storico di Savona è stata completamente cancellata. The Genoese destroyed everything of that area during the invasion and between 1542 and 1543 they built this fortress of Priamar. Almeno anziani di Savona che diciamo sentono la fortezza proprio come un Even today many of the older dwellers of the town of Savona see Priamar as a symbol of oppression. To find out more about the history of Savona, watch the next clips.